We've got some severe weather rolling into this afternoon, this evening. We've had a heat wave here of mid 90s, which is versus our low this winter of minus 19 Fahrenheit is about 110 degree swing so we get kind of extremes here in the upper midwest um, but these conditions are also ripe for causing tornadoes and severe thunderstorms so that's what we got coming so to prepare for that i'm going to get the old uh little tailgater generator out and at least if i have that going i can power the essentials here so let's see if this thing, uh, my little conversion to drill start works. And then we're gonna talk about a little bit of the reasons uh, to be careful when converting your small engines to drill start and why you may not want to do it. All right, let's see if this sucker starts. Look at that, really starting to come down. Hope we don't lose power. So as you can see, the drill start of my small generator here is still working for me pretty well. That said, a few considerations need to be made before you convert your small engine to drill start. Number one is the size or displacement of your engine. This is a two small two-stroke engine from 60 cc's. That's fairly easy for my drill to turn over. The engine in my Simplicity Lawn Tractor is a two-cylinder 724 cc engine my drill has no chance of turning this thing over fast enough to get it to start so you could absolutely go to a more powerful drill a larger corded drill that may get you um, above this size engine to be able to turn over but there is another thing to watch out for there so what i did to convert this is basically take the recoil off and create an access hole in this shroud to get at the bolt securing the flywheel to the crankshaft. So why I point that out is because we can shear off that bolt and then your flywheel come off your engine and that's a called a bad day. Now you're tasked with trying to remove that bolt from the crankshaft, trying to drill a hole and get a extraction tool in there. That's a nightmare, that's a bad day. So I absolutely discourage the use of an impact for the starting method. And the reason for that is those impacts have a lot of torque and the hammering action or the impact action of that is meant to break bolts loose. What that will do in this scenario where we're turning it in the direction of tightening it, it will shear that baby off. Do not use an impact on this. The advantage of a drill is it doesn't have that impact or hammering action and it's a variable speed so you can put a little bit of torque into it just enough to get the engine turning over and then give it more and more juice as the engine starts coming up to speed that way you avoid damaging the crank bolt. The other thing you have to be careful about when you've got your drill on here and you're holding it to prevent spinning and you're putting your torque in to turn the engine over, eventually when the engine starts firing, it's gonna to wanna to go faster than your drill is going. That is gonna to try to whip this drill around on you, so you need to pull it off rather quickly. And the larger your engine is, the greater that risk, the more force it can put into your drill. It can really cause personal harm to you. Um, so take that on at your own risk but you need to know that is a danger. This thing can whip around, break your wrist. Um, that's an even worse day than breaking off the crank bolt in this thing. My number one piece of advice, if this is the only thing you get from this video, you need to know before you remove the recoil starting and drill a hole in your shroud here that will prevent you from putting another one on, take the shroud off and test it. Make sure whatever starting method you're using we're losing power, I need this. Whatever method you're using works to start your engine. That way you can always go back and go back to the recoil starting as big of a pain in the butt as that is. The other thing you need to be careful with is stripping the hex head of your crank bolt. You need to make sure you're fully engaged 
with that socket and your drill before starting it. Otherwise you can round that baby over. The good news with that is you can always go back to a recoil start if you didn't damage uh, your shroud and prevent you from using it again. But also know there's always a risk of shearing that bolt off. Being careful with a drill and uh, understanding, having a good feel for mechanics and how much power you can put into something like that before shearing it off. Um, but I would not recommend doing this with something brand new worth thousands of dollars uh, because if you shear that crank bolt off and now it's junk, you're gonna be pretty perturbed. So this thing, I'm not worried about doing that. Um, it's a pretty inexpensive generator from Harbor Freight. I'm willing to take that risk. And I understand that risk and I'm taking it on myself. I would probably uh, throw a few curse words around if that happened to me, um, but I'm consciously taking that risk. So it's up to you if you wanna do that too. So happy converting, hopefully. You know a little bit more and, and understand the risks you're taking uh, converting one of your small engines to drill start. I still have power, hopefully it lasts. As with anybody with a generator, you don't really wanna have to use it, but it's here in case we do. Thanks for watching, adios. Yeah, we gotta go in the basement.